but there's only one, Tom one, Vamanoven. The first day, the day he made his debut here was against Leeds. And Leeds team came out and they all like spread out as they normally do. And one fella waited for Vamanoven to come out. And when Vamanoven came out, he went straight to him and put his arms around him. And that was a fella by the name of Quinn. I uh, can't think of his first name. He was an ex rugby union England player. And he changed his code. And obviously, he must have known Bob and Oven through his rugby union days, you know. And he just went up to Bob and shook hands and put his arm around him, you know. As I say, they must have known each other. We didn't know him. We'd never heard of him. But to pay, what, I think we paid 7,000 for him. It was a hell of a lot of money, 57 was it, when we bought him. Hell of a lot of money that was. But I used to, when I was quoting a girl here in Gladstone Street, on a Tuesday and Thursday when there was training, that, car, that training session was absolutely chocker, just to watch them train. And they played Leeds on that particular Saturday, and the following week, I think, I'm not sure whether it was Whitehaven or Workington away. I'm not sure. It was one of them anyway. And they wouldn't risk taking Bobbenhoven in case, you know, with in his second game. And they played him in the A-team here. And there was 11,500 watching. His speed, his sidestep. He could beat a man. He could turn around on a flipping bit in them days. I mean, we don't see flipping bits now, like, you know, but... He could, he could sidestep, he could do anything, you know. I mean, you don't see that today. It's just brute force now, you know. Right. But he was a marvellous player, marvellous.